And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. All right, ready to get underway. Now it's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. The pitch. In the air, left side. Coming on is Pham to make the play. And up next for Seattle, Ty France. The first And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Bounced up the middle. Throw over to Votto. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. The pitch. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. The pitch. In the air to left down the line. Fam makes his way towards it. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And the inning is over. Bottom of the first. Jonathan India to play. And the pitch. Ball one there. And a pitch. And that's a strike. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. Next pitch is downstairs. And here it comes. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. France right there to make the grab. And there's one away. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Tyler Naquin swings through one there. I think he was sitting off speed there. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. That clips the corner. And a swing and a miss, and there's two away. And the batter now is Joey Votto. In there, and it's 0-1. Now wanted a one. Next one misses two and one. And a swing and a miss. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in, and to attack that pitch looked like a half hearted swing. Three and two now. And fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Welcome back. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. 
Big off in Seattle. The right field. Mitch. The right-hander back to work. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch is outside. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out in the stands. And a pitch. Ball three. Just doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. And the 3-1. Swing and a miss. Well, they've clearly been trying to work him away and to change it up with a good pitch on the inside. Nice execution. That'll definitely keep him honest. And there's one down. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. And Chris, probably no other player better represents present day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, nope. and some walks. First offering, and it just misses. Really important for the pitcher to not get proud, stay with the scouting report, and don't throw something into his swing. He's kind of channeling Adam Dunn. Ball Next three. offering is downstairs. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. Rolled over to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now at the plate, J.P. Crawford. In there for strike one. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. India over to first in time. Got him. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. The center fielder, number 34, Julio Rodriguez. And that's in there for strike one. No score here in the second. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And the pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. The pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Right into the plate. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. Tag safe. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. So two down and stepping in for the Mariners, Jared Kelman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next offering is down low. Two on, two outs. And now it's even up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Drury sizes this one up, and he makes the catch. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter, Tyler Stevenson. The wind of the pitch. And a good eye there. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. Good eye right there. 
Severino. And now the lefty. And he pumps it a strike. The pitch. There's a strike. And a payoff pitch. On the ground. One up, one down. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Brandon Drury to the plate. First offering misses the mark. Second inning here, no score. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. And that one a little bit high. The wide to kick the pitch. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's Tommy Pham. Up the middle, and that squirts through. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Colin Moran gets a chance to hit here. That one's in there 0-1. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next pitch is outside. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next pitch is downstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Next offering is foul back. The 2 2. And that's outside. And a 3 2. Swing and a ball popped up. That's a base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. And there's the strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Drury on third, Pham at second, Moran over at first with one away. Hit on the ground to the right side. Base hit, one run in already. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time, he scores. And they take a two-run lead. That's three singles in a row. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Now it's Nick Senzel. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Fought off foul. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And that one fouled off. And a ball and two strikes. Foul ball. The pitch. Got him. Two away down. Jonathan India, the next to hit. He popped out his first time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And ball one. Ball, 
Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A towering home run. And they boost their lead. It's five zip. Two outs, nobody on. Now it's going to be Tyler Naquin. He's 0 for 1. In there, and it's 0 and 1. And that skips into there. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. So here's Murphy now. Malley back to work. Called strike right there. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. This one high in the air to left center. Senzel settles under this one and puts the squeeze on that. One away. Here's Adam Frazier. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Adam. And that's in there for strike one. 0 and 1. Righty delivers. Fouled off. He was late. That's out to center field. Senzel puts it away. Two down. And now for Seattle. Ty France. Good contact guy. Good defender. First pitch just misses. And the righty deals. Lifted in the air right center field. Naquin coming on. Racing makes the catch. And that'll do it. Back here at Great American Ballpark as we go to the last of the third. And now Joey Votto. And the pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And there's one down. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Tyler Stevenson. He checks his swing, and that's a foul ball. And he deals. Just missed. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. France pulls that one down, and there are two outs. Here's the third baseman, Brandon Drury. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Whips it to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Back here in Cincinnati, out of the fourth. Now it's the DH, Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. The pitch. 
on one. Here comes a pinch. Foul ball there. Right hander kicks deals. And now one and two. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The next pitch misses. It's two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And another ball. Three balls, two strikes, the count. On the ground, right side. India handles. Gathers and throws to first. And Winker is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Hanniger takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Next pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. That one fouled off. And here it comes. Stays alive. That one not close. And now it's three and two. And a foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. And he's already singled in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. Just missed. There's a strike. Two two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kicks and fires. Just missed. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Back here at the ballpark, now the left fielder, Tommy Fan. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In the air, out towards right center. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Justice Sheffield will take over here. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Stepping in, Colin Moran. First offering, misses the mark. At the belt and fires. Gets the slider in there for a strike. No outs, runner on second. Next pitch is in the dirt. Yeah, that's ball two. Runner leads away at second. And now it's filled up. Out. 
And down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. Sheffield throws over. Bam, back to first safely. First pitch, not close. Move to second, and he's back in on a dive. Fam leads off second with one gone in the inning. Next offering is downstairs. Two balls, no strike. There's a strike. And a pitch. That's towards center. Rodriguez drifts towards it. Two down. And now the center fielder, Nick Senzel. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man at second. To third. Tosses across the first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. The right-hander back to work. 0-1. The pitch and there's the strike and a pitch and one and two the pitch swag and a miss the velocity blasted it right past him here's the center fielder Julio Rodriguez And the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. Kicks and deals. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Here's a one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Here's Jared Kelnick. Number 10, Jared Kelnick. First pitch, just misses. Left hand hitter waits. Good eye right there. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two balls, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Next offering is down low. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That ends the frame. Bottom of the inning, in now for the Reds, Jonathan India. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. The pitch. Strike two. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there. As a pitcher, got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance, send him back to the dugout. And now the lefty got him looking. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And here is Tyler Naquin, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Naquin. 
And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. Joey Votto, the next to hit for the Reds. First offering misses the mark. The why to kick the pitch. And there's a foul ball. So now one and two. I would say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I and mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Stays alive. And a pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one carrying. And out of here. Joey Votto pops one out of here. And they add to the lead. It's 6-0. And here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man at first and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Brandon Drury. In there for strike one. Well struck left field. And it hits the fence. The relay. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. And welcome back. Now it's Tom Murphy. The wind of the pitch. Off the mark there. Ball one. And the righty deals. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Liner to second, it picked on the hop. Gathers and throws. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Adam Frazier up next for the Mariners. The second baseman, Adam Frazier. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the right hander deals. And it's fouled away. Here's a 1-1. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Catcher has it. Fires the first. Out. Two away now after the drop third strike. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. Ty France stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And he deals. Foul ball. The 1-1. One -one. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one is gone. Ty France goes deep and they close the gap. It's 6 1. Here's Jesse Winker. Now back. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. And strike two. Two down, nobody on. 
And down on strikes. And that'll do it. Bottom of the six. Here's the left fielder, Tommy Pham. And here it comes. Just oh, missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Kicks and fires. That's to third. Fires across oh. the diamond. One up, one down. And now it's going to be Colin Moran. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The 2-0 is in for a strike. The pitch. And that one pulled foul. Next pitch is outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Farmer lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. And a pitch. And that one lifted in the air center field. Rodriguez brings it in and there's two down. So two down now and here is Nick Senzel. And the first offering is not close. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. On the ground to first, and that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. And first offering is fouled off. Base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw in holds the lead runner at third, so it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Tyler Naquin to the plate. Liner snagged it first. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Art Warren. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Back here at Great American Ballpark, new inning getting started. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. The pitch. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Right-handed reliever. Late swing, fouled off. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. And he chases that one. One out. A. Eugenio Suarez up next for the Mariners. One for two.
first pitch, and that's in for a strike. Ball one there. One and one. One one now. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Righty delivers. That one misses. Two and two. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. On the ground to short. Farmer picks it up, tosses to first, and two away to start the seven. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. Two outs. Nope. And a foul ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Looked like it was a little bit up. In the air, center field. Senzel settles underneath it, and that is the ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. All right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small minded, all your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. A wise man told me that Simon's never betrayed him. Keep your mouth shut, cause it's gonna ultimate him. Stupid situations, the tongue often creates them. The motor mouth is usually causing mayor. Let's reflect times, I try to collect minds from complex rhymes. And by the way, shut out to nine. Uh, go and shut the f up, just let me talk. I'm a time bomb, it's waiting to go off. Quite nuclear, amazing what fame could do to you. Too peculiar, a long truly a renaissance starter. My mind divided. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Mariners, one run on two hits, no errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and four minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you that we drive home safely.
colorful on our souls. A mouthful of gold or a drummer's roll. Stories get told about us. That's why things so blind without us. Wherever we are, you can feel the prowess. Whenever we move, yo, we turn the style up. I'ma just give black powers flowers. Whether in the projects or the palace. Even when the pale horse tried to dial up, it stirred, stir it up. We kept the balance. We moved the silence. We moved the loudest. Ancestors in my dreams, they moved the wildest. They prayed about us. Praised and shouted. Picture this country being brave without us. A slave's nostalgia. Move through the woods with vigor. When we got free, the world moved with us. Now they want to change the bodies. Go figure. Used to call us. Now they want to be. We the rivers that move through the jungle. Yo, when we move, we make the world wonderful. Thank you. 